Hi, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Another fun, exciting video about to begin. Current blood sugar at 434, fully calibrated. Current blood sugar is at 10.7. Active insulin is 8 point, or sorry, 9 eyes. 9.325 units. I'm starting to get some correction because I'm increasing there. I gave myself the uh, dinner insulin a bit early because I'm not afraid of going low right now. So we take a look at that and we swipe over. Now, this morning it was at 74% time and range. Right now we're at 88, even though I topped it up. We're 12% above, 88% in range, zero. And then this is looking better. Average sugar in millimoles per liter is eight. So good job, Mike. Congratulations on me. I'm celebrating a win. Today I want to discuss trust in your pharmacy. And we'll delve into why it is important. So stay tuned. And we'll be right back to begin today. This channel is provided for informational purposes only. Contact your physician for any diagnostic or treatment plan. Okay. Your pharmacy is probably one of the part of your team that most people forget. If it was like me, I would go through and go to any pharmacy. I had records all over the place. It wasn't until I moved into the east side of Vancouver, into a place around 19th and Rupert on Seafort Drive. Yep, I lived around there. And up the road, there was sort of a little business area. In there was a pharmacist. So I would go there and they would pretty well order in anything I needed be truthful, they'd follow up on me about what to look forward if I was starting new medications. They kept my insulin in stock so I didn't have to worry about finding insulin all over the place. My doctor and then talked pretty regularly. I really had a trust there. And why is it important that you have a trust with your pharmacist? Well, won't any pharmacy do everything? But they will go that extra mile. Later, I started getting into um, more advanced care for myself. And I was taken to Royal Columbia where I'm while I was in the hospital, I was given sort of like 
a block radius. And in that block radius, there was a shopper's drug mart. And they had just opened up. I think they had opened up the October of 2013, if that sounds familiar. And I started going down there in 2014. You know, I'd roam around. It was just some place to go. They and I saw eye to eye. I went down there, and just because I was bored, I had certain times at the hospital, I had to go back and be there. So I'd go, I'd sit there, I'd kind of wander around. We caught a few shoplifters. Yes, I had fun with that. Anyway, I went to um, their Christmas party. That was pretty fun. They also got me a cane. I was looking at the canes and all they had for canes was ones that were like two to three inches too short for me. And if I had used that, I would have been hunched over. This was before I had progressed being into a chair. So I was looking at them and we were discussing canes and one day there was a cane with a name plate on it that said Fritz Hinkelmeyer. Well, that's a pseudonym I used to use in training, but it was a really nice cane. Uh, one day we'll show it to you. But it wasn't because I went to the Christmas party and they did this. It was, I kept using them till last year when I moved out here. And they were awesome. They were so awesome that when I moved out here, I went to the same chain, which is actually within, I don't know, 500, uh, maybe 700 meters of here. And I went and there was no trust at that choppers whatsoever. Everything was charged. I was, I put in an order and then all of a sudden, oh, well, this is now that price. And, you know, Pharmacare only will cover so much. And it's, you know, it's like, why? So now all my pharmacy items I need, like prescriptions, are covered by here at the hospital. Anything for my pump, I can order in. But a pharmacist can teach you about new drugs, can show you how to utilize equipment. Most places have a pharmacist that will be specially trained on diabetes. Face it, diabetes is an epidemic. And even type 2 is way out there, but type 1 is starting to not gain popularity. That's the wrong phrase. But it has increased. So what can we do about this? We need to make sure we have open dialogue. We've talked about this when talking about your whole medical team. 
We've talked about this in Building Trust a few videos ago. And it's, that is important, A, that you get the best care possible. Same with your pharmacist. A lot of times, I think I was beginning to tell you before, sorry, a nurse came in, about having new prescriptions and then finding out that they conflict with something. And they got pretty good in checking that for me. I mean, I would look and say, oh, well, I thought I had had that before. But they found out, excuse me, something, I don't know what that was. But I had had that medication before, had problems. Um, so... A pharmacist is a strong team member in your diabetic team. Now, just for fun, let's review our diabetic team. We have your endocrinologist. We have your GP. Your GP does play a role in your diabetic health. We have the pharmacist, obviously. We have podiatrist we have what's the other one social work and believe me for years I thought social work was useless but as I got older I became more adapt to what social work can do for you those could be the main base but you could have your particular team members, but don't forget about pharmacy. If you get a good information, if you go and you give, um, let's say over the counter drugs, your pharmacist may start recommending stuff for you that will work better than, you know, something your doctor suggested. And in BC, for minor ailments, they can help. So keep that in mind. Remember, pharmacy is important. And with that, I don't know if this ends up being a short one. I had to stop and start a few times today. But take care, have a great day, and we'll talk later. Bye. My email is Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com. Mike's Diabetes World at gmail.com. <laughs>